Turn my clock, I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con, I pop pistols. What to do YouTube, my name is Bear Witness, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Fortnite and why it seems like the game has gotten harder when in fact, it hasn't necessarily gotten harder, but the player base has just increased. Or not the player base itself or anything like that. Let me rephrase this. So, it seems like the game's super difficult, especially for new players, but it's really not that. It's just that all of the players that are pretty much playing at the current moment are players that are old like are have been playing the game for like almost all year have been continuously practicing since season one and that's why it seems like the game is hard it's because the players that have stuck around are really s sticking around you know you've had a lot of players fall off to new games whether it be you know games like there are single player games like spider-man and all those other games red dead redemption no that's well that's got online but uh call of duty Bla battlefield 5 all of these games have come up so a lot of the newer players or the uncommitted players uh you could say are not on the game anymore so it doesn't seem to be that big old like the like that big old like noob area like i guess you can't call it noob area but like that fresh players players that are new to the game they don't know how to build and things like that so everything is intense all the build battles are intense everything is like that so when i look at it like this i think about the how it's kind of necessary. At one point in time, I was frustrated with Epic Games based on the fact that they did a lot to make it to make it more fun for new players. But then I look at these statistics, and this statistic is not coming from any big source. Uh, TSM Myth did a thing on Twitter the other day, took a poll on Twitter, and he asked everybody when they started playing the game. And I noticed that 70% of the people, like out of 106,000 people, I'll show you guys the screenshot right here. 106,000 people, 70% of them have been playing since season one and two. So if you minimize that to every lobby you go into, out of 100 players, 70 of, the, 70 of those players are going to be like, they're going to be knowledgeable on the game. They're going to be able to, you know, they know how to build. They know how and what situation to be in. Now, it doesn't mean that they're good at the game necessarily, but it means that they know and that every fight is going to be hard. That's why solos have gotten harder. That's why the game in general has seemed to have no noticeably gotten harder. Now, as these other games kind of slow down, people realize, oh, hey, there's Fortnite. It kind of falls into that place. I personally, my game that used to do that a lot was Smite. I used to play Smite a lot, and then every time a game got boring, I would go back to Smite and I would play it again. Fortnite is kind of in that situation, whereas people have gone to play other games, and now it's coming back. So now we, we're finding that little bit of like more like I said, freshness in the lobbies and such like that. But I guess this was a video trying to tell, explain to you guys why it seems like the game is like in this state of like everything is, you know, the hardest thing. Like every fight seems to be difficult. Every fight seems to be an, an epic build battle that takes like two to three minutes. So I guess that's kind of what I'm saying in, in general. The the player base has kind of just like the, the uncommitted have you know, fluttered off to other games and the committed have been playing the game and grinding. So everybody, you're, you're playing at high skills and a lot of people are even talking about skill-based matchmaking. I don't think that's the thing either. I don't think that they implement that at all. I think that, like I said, the game is full of players that have been playing this game for a long, long time. And with any video game that you play, you gradually get better as time goes and you keep grinding and you keep getting a little bit better every day. No matter if you die, no matter if you get a million kills, no matter what, everything in that game is a learning experience. So that is going to come into play when you play games like this for a long period of time. But this was actually just really fascinating for me, so I kind of just wanted to make the video on it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you guys already know what to do. Leave a like down below, as well as commenting your thoughts. I really would wonder if how long you guys have been playing the game, and I just kind of want to throw that whole poll in there myself. So if you guys have been playing for quite a while, or if you guys haven't, make sure you guys leave that in the comment section below. You guys can also hit that sub button and that bell to be notified on every single one of my uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys are having a happy holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.